Greetings everybody, this is Shadowstar here on Maxima 72 for my PlayStation ID and welcome back to my Let's Play series for Mass Effect Andromeda and just in case anybody has missed any other of my Let's Play videos for Mass Effect Andromeda I will leave the playlist link for you in the video description down below and now I'm just going to quickly visit track before I continue on saying what I need to say dangerous. I've seen people like him before He's definitely dangerous So dangerous I'm not sure we're ready to deal with him Take him out, all we need is a plan from where I stand, the Archon thinks he knows what's best for us. Problem is, he can follow through on it. That exaltation the Ket do, it turns people into slaves. He can do that to us. He has that power. Someone like him you take out fast and hard. Get the leader, the rest will follow. Honestly, drop a nuke on his head, blow up a sun if you have to, take the collateral damage. I hope it doesn't come to that, but Exaltation seems almost worse. If he has his way, there won't be anyone left to save. You don't mess around with this kind of thing. Ends badly, each and every time. Another galaxy and there are still despots. When I was on security duty at the Relay, colonies were attacked all the time. We trained the colonists and they started fighting back. Raiders didn't expect that. The Angara already know how to fight. But the Archon, he's got an army to back up his crazy. We're the new variable here. He can't predict what we'll do. That is an advantage, so long as we play it right. You keep thinking about how you want to handle this. <sighs> we'll only get one real chance at it, won't we? Yep, so when we take him down, let's make sure he stays down. Yeah, the only, ch the only problem is that when the fuck are we going to get the opportunity to actually put him down for good? Because my gut feeling is we're going to have multiple encounters with that fucking prick. Anyway, uh, just a quick recap for, any, for anybody who did miss my previous Let's Play video. Ryder and company were invited to, to be a part of the Resistance mission to raid the cat facility on Vault. However, Ryder and company, so he so the Pathfinder team, discovered that uh, not only do the Ket brainwash the Angara to become, to be invited into those uh, really facilities, the they actually inject them with something to actually turn them into the Ket. The but I'll get back into that more detail yeah, as soon as I finish talking with Vetra. Made medical equipment. Could be a lead. I just want an edge on those Ket bastards. If they ever got their hands on Sid, I'd... Well, imagine if it was Sarah. I don't know what I'd do. We're all that's left of our family. Same here. Sid was so little when our father left and I was... Well, her age now. You raised your sister by yourself? That can't have been easy. Had to. I waited forever for our father to come home. He never did. He was involved with some bad things. Bad people. Eventually, it caught up to him. There was nowhere to run. Not like a whole new galaxy. Is that why you came here? When you're young and stupid, you make bad decisions. Piss off the wrong people. That sort of thing never goes away. Not for you, not for the ones you care about. I don't want to not come home one day. We're a team. I'll make sure you're always there for Sid. Thank you, Ryder. That means a lot to me. At least Sid's older now. Maybe I don't have to worry as much. I should get back to work. Talk to my people, see if they've heard anything. Chat later? I really do hope Vetra can over overturn some stones to find some info on those uh, exaltation chambers. Yeah, so basically the process that they use to turn other species into the cat, it's called exaltation. They inject them with something. I have absolutely no idea what it is, and I have no desire to find out. But basically, they inject them with uh, some sort of cat, bio, cat liquid and basically rewrites their DNA, makes them pure cat and kills off uh, what they were before. It is very, very dark stuff and I have made a solemn vow that everything cat dies without mercy. Now I'm going to quickly chat with Gil. 
see uh, what is going on with him. Taking a slight detour and dropping me back in the Milky Way. What's the problem? Little something I just heard about called exaltation. Guess you should have read the fine print on the initiative brochure. Or read it at all. I gotta start eating more protein and getting a full night's sleep. It'll take everything we got to get through this mess. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. Okay, now time to wander into the center of the ship. Thank you for letting me know, Sam. I can see it. The cat take other species' genes. Asari take other species' traits. Phoebe, don't tell me we actually agree on something. Changed my mind. For nothing quite. I don't know what PB's problem is with uh, Lexi, but I have honestly I have no desire on finding out. So anyway, let's go double check with Cora, see if everything is fine and dandy with her. You are to their advantage. Worst kind of enemy. The one that makes you fight your own people. That's what Jaw faces every day. Now that we know the truth. Friends, neighbors, all changed. And they're loyal to what changed them. You're pretty worked up about this. Kandros wants strategies for handling the Ket. I talked with Drac, putting ideas together. Expand our guerrilla tactics, get Angaran military advisors, research exaltation. Just, I don't know. Wish your dad could give me his take. Why? This all looks fine to me. Nasira, your father, they always had a plan I could follow. Without one, it's too easy for people to get hurt. Like now. The Initiative's plans are shot, and people die because of it. We're facing challenges we could never have prepared for. At least now we can prepare to fight the Ket. Sarissa will have a strategy. Just need to find her and the other Asari. It'll be good to have certainty again. I really do wish Korra would stop sucking up to this Asari commando. It'll be good to find that Yasari Ark, but she's Louise. She needs to turn down the fa we the Gora. number one fan status down a little bit. We have to stop the Archon, whatever he's up to. The more we learn, the more I realize how much bigger than me this all is. It's humbling. I like it when you flirt. I wouldn't want you to stop. Have I flirted with you? <laughs> Don't worry, Ryder. I'm relentless. It relaxes me. Let's see if she, how she's getting along with the rest of the team. I'm keeping it light and pleasant. Even Lexi isn't exactly what I'd expected. And Joel, I'm learning. What also, I should like. mention, We're lucky to if have you do hear me hesitating or stuttering with any of my sentences, with me being an autistic individual, talking is not one of my strongest points, but I do try anyway. I'm certainly not looking to reproduce anytime soon. But it seems like is she trying to make me jealous. Are you trying to make me jealous? Maybe. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. You know it. Jaw? Okay, then let's see how Jaw's getting me. along even after the disagreement about whether the cat facility should remain I'll just... uh, standing or not. Don't. I'll explain that after I finish talking with Jaw. Saved the Moshai. I won't forget that. I may seem tough. But I have a good shoulder. That's kind. You're kind. I really miss my family at times like these. Are you close to your family? You talk about family a lot. <laughs> really? I guess it's just part of our culture. Our families are large, and we share our parents with the community. We all have many mothers. My family's small. And are you close? My family is complicated. Isn't much to say about it. Mm. Okay. This random collection of Tempest oddballs can feel like family sometimes. Yeah. I never really felt I had a purpose. But here, I do. What about the Resistance? My place in the Resistance is... Not what I'd like. But that kid on Aya looked up to you. Sure. But you are going to do something important, Ryder. I feel it. This is where I should be. 
Glad you're along for the ride. Me too. I'm glad he's more level-headed about the situation, but uh, honestly, the cat facility needed it to be destroyed. <laughs> there was no fucking way I was leaving it standing after what the crap we saw. Anyway, before I get into anything else in more detail, I'll let Kalo and Suvi talk about what is happening. Kalo. Kalo's very excited about a report I received from EOS. It's good news. The radiation levels are steadily dropping. Your outpost, Prodromos, is really going to make it. When do you want to head back? We could go, but we need to balance our priorities. Why? Just saying, if I'd created a thriving community in a brand new galaxy, I'd want to visit. Just wait till they put in the beach and the water slides. Now you're just playing with me. So radiation levels are down. More to explore? I yes, but there's been a rise in cat activity as well. Figures that we're not the only ones to benefit from the planet's improvement. Might be nice to see how it's doing. Almost like a vacation. Almost. Maybe we'll head back at some point. Well, you're the boss. Just say the word. Okay then, so now I'm heading back to Aya to make sure the Moshai, the person we were sent to go rescue, is returned safe and sound to the Angara <coughs> people, let's call it. Basically, what I meant about Jal leap wanted to leave that cat facility standing is because uh, he wanted to make sure that all the Angara that were trapped within the exaltation pods were rescued and the building was left untouched. So, unfortunately, and I was not going that route. He, uh, Jal was salt, went off for a sulk, so just left him to it, and now I'm just glad he's a little bit more level-headed. So let's see what the Angara leaders have to say about everything here. We made a good team. The Pathfinder destroyed the enemy's fortress, but thousands of us died in chains. We have a lot to talk about. I promised to lead the Pathfinder to Aya's vault. You're still recovering. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Not without our help. I'll prepare the vault for your arrival. A shuttle will bring you to me when it's ready. Thank you, Moshai. We've been alone against the Ket for too long. You've proven it doesn't have to be that way. It's time we discussed an alliance between our people. Might want to ask your resistance leader how he feels. If I don't like where the discussion goes, I'll end it. Agreed. We'll provide an embassy for the initiative here on Aya. We'll make room for you on the Nexus. Our city is open to you. Join us. Well done, Jol. Report for reassignment. I need to stay with the Pathfinder. Jol has already become a valued member of my crew. Of course he has. I see the benefit. Request granted. I need to file a mission report. Don't leave Aya without me. Okay, before I go up over to the Resistance headquarters, I'm gonna go take the shuttle and join the Moshai at the Remnant uh, Remnant Vault uh, here on Angara and see if I can learn anything new and hopefully put a plan together for my next course of action. anyone here in over 20 years. There's always been an active display for Aya, but we could never affect it. Let's see what we can do. Sam? Yes, this is new. Is it similar to the vault on Eos? Tell me, what are you seeing? I think what we need to figure out is... what's different? Tell me, what do you see? The vaults. They're a network, as you discovered. However... They're not connected to each other, but to this place. This image was on a relic the Archon showed me. 
He called it Meridian. And it looks like Aya's vault is the only one that's fully connected to it. And it's terraforming. Doing what it was meant to do. The vault on Eos is also present, but changed. Our interfacing with it has affected its connection. What do you think, Professor? I think that Meridian is the control center for all the vaults. This discovery might just change everything. If we can get to Meridian, maybe we can turn everything on from there. Make Helios live. Wait, Ryder. The Archon knows where it is. He's already been there. What? Where? Meridian? Of course. That's why he tortured me. He thought I could help him use it. Because he can't. Meridian is my people's best chance for survival. We have to take it from him. Agreed. Such power in the hands of such evil could mean the end of your people, and mine. No one is safe as long as he's on this hunt. I'm going to shut it down, for all our sakes. You're going to need that relic I saw. The Resistance might have intel on the whereabouts of Archon's ship. I'll talk to Ephra and secure his full cooperation. Meet me there. Okay then, so with the new information gathered from the random vault on Iam, it is now time to go explore the wondrous city of Aya itself. But before, but I am not going to be going through the main gate. I'm actually going to be taking a slight detour through the observatory to my right, or the Scott Riders' right. And I do apologize if that sounds confusing. So right is left, left is right, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Sorry, my brain is overloading and I go in cuckoo. Cuckoo! Yeah, can't go that way. And there's another reason I wanted to try and go through obs the observatory. It's because I want to see if I can acquire a certain mission. No, I no, I can't. Ooh, an Angaran shuttle model. Another one to f another one to add to the collection. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Mm, nothing important. Oh, I love Newt. Now, onward I go. So, I'm at the Memorial Gardens. That, so, I've scanned the Angaran mural. Yeah, I'm not going to be pressing the... I'm not going to be going into the info payload just yet. It's because uh, further on in the central part, or the... Or the legal offices of Aya. A couple of the missions do require me going around to collect the political laws, uh, standard laws, etc. Everything legal wise, all the rules and regulations for Aya are, are stationed and basically upload them to the Nexus so they do not piss off the Angara. I just hope the rest of the crew is not getting themselves into well, any trouble. Track. It depends on the grievance. I settle minor offenses right here. More serious ones require a tribunal. I know Vetra and PB will probably be well behaved because uh, Vetra is probably establishing more shoot. trade connections, and PB wants to study I all the remnant. Scientific gizmos that they ha have acquired in the museum. I don't want to cause any trouble. How do you learn your laws? I'll transmit a full readout. I have no idea what Core is going to be doing. Probably, probably going to be overseeing all the military training here on Aya. Oh God, only knows what Liam's going to be doing, and I really hope to fucking God that Drak doesn't go around headbutting me and Gara getting drunk and then starting any bar fights. Oh boy, that old man is absolutely stubborn. Okay, 
your credits are as good as anyone else's. Don't start any trouble and we're fine. I can do that. Good to hear. I'll probably have it. That was one vendor. Pathfinder. Alright, let's see what Doing okay. how Vetra's getting along. However, I should mention the Angaran merchant behind Vetra talk next to the female Angara there. He will not sell to the Pathfinder team or members of the initiative, period. And I don't blame him because his last experience with outsiders was the cat. And look how that turned out. Can't hurt to be prepared. Maybe you've got something. I'm New armor is definitely nice, but I won't be needing any just yet. What's going? What's over here? What did you get escorted through the city? Bet that was a sight. You were an unexpected outsider. Not really a lot. Excuse me. I've never seen fruit like this before. What are these? Pariko, sweet with a little bite. Sometimes, if I'm lucky, I have a few kiloa or elmo. Is fruit scarce here? In this form, yes. Very expensive. If you buy a paripo from me, it means... Alright then, good to know. It's a luxury. If I'm celebrating anything, I'll get myself a paripo. Okay, so what is next to do? Uh, yeah, gotta go and find... Gotta go to the legal... Let's call them legal offices. Of Angaran leadership, the political side. Because <laughs> the last thing I want happening is members of the initiative screwing up this, uh, starting a partnership in any sort of way. Pathfinder, I'm Enro Bosan, assistant to the governor. As you can imagine, your arrival raised concerns from Aya's people. It'll take a long time to trust strangers again. Yeah, because like I previously mentioned with the mission who won't sell to wait to outsiders, their last experience with aliens was the cat. And the cat just basically spat in their face and basically tortured them. Arbiter and I've told me to expect you. I prepared a date. I'll upload it in Nexus so they could do all the reading. Five, over oh, five thousand five hundred pages. Yep, I'm up. I'm up a little. I'm uploading it to the Nexus. I am no way in hell doing all that reading. No siree. Even Su even Suvi's sixty-page essay about do it was a bit long for me. Okay, let's go explore the outer part of the market. Okay, so it looks like there's nothing down there to explore. Let's see what this uh, forum has to say. Is just another word for In a nutshell, yeah. Right. I would say the Salarians have the best chance to counter an exaltation, but unfortunately... I still need to find their fucking arc. Along with the Asari arc and the Torian arc. I hope the fucking Christ that the cat haven't gotten. I haven't gone to the missing arcs. And again, I do apologize if you do me, hear me hesitating or stuttering with any of my sentences. Being a, well, why are you following me? That was a strange Angaran. Anyway, as I was saying. Being an autistic individual, talking is not one of my strongest points, but I do try anyway. Okay. Yep, so now I'm going to be going to the info terminal. I'm going to be forwarding it to the Nexus unedited. Unedited. God, my brain does not want to load up these words for me right now. Because uh, I can probably guarantee if anything is edited... 
then it will probably come back to bite me in the ass. Really? I could have come around that way? Oh, boy. Nut Nutrient paste? Hmm. Anyway, to time to water his drink. I think I bloody drink. need one after the crap I've been through. Let's see what he has on offer. But you'll like it. What's in that stuff? In short, everything. Nearly all the food we grow goes straight into processing. We can feed an entire planet in a single harvest. Even ship some off-world. If we used your system, we'd never have a food shortage. If you want, I can send a few samples to your ship. Your people can study it. The Nexus would love that. Consider it done. What does Taviton mean? My translator won't pick it up. It depends on the context. If it's a person, it means an old friend. If it's a location, like this, it's more... a place you could bring someone home to. What if you need to meet your Taviton at the Taviton? It's not so hard to understand. I'm sure your language has its quirks. Don't get me started. I'd like a drink. That's all for now. We'll come back anytime. I really do hope Liam and Jurak have been behaving. My gut feeling is that out of the path to find the team here on Aya, those two are probably the ones that most likely to start any form of trouble. I really do uh, hope he hasn't started any bar fights or headbutted anybody. I don't know why he keeps doing this. Yeah, you definitely stick out the most, though, Drac. How you keep your blood inside, skin that thin. Yeah, back in the Milky Way, the the humans were the probably the only allies that the Kroken can trust, and who kept their word towards him, and not afraid to stand up to them. So basically, yeah, the humans were the only allies that the Kroken can actually trust fully. All right, the time to. Oh yeah, another thing I need to do on the to-do list was uh, return the recovered Angaran space pilot helmet to Avela Kajar. So let's see what we can learn about this uh, recovered space helm, a space pilot helmet. Dark Age design. Do you see the black marks? The scourge targeted this pilot ship. Stars. It's perfectly preserved. I could almost imagine the pilot. He must have been so afraid. I've never seen one of these intact. Do you know how rare this is? I can't even begin to repay you. If it makes you that happy, I'll gladly dig up a few more. Do you offer priceless relics to every Angara you meet? Only the special ones? I... I'll keep that in mind. You know, Pathfinder, this gets me thinking. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't even know that Helm existed. What if that's not all we're missing? There could be a wealth of history just out of our reach. So, I'm requesting your help again. I can't agree without knowing what you want from me. Of course, that's only totally fair. I've led digs on every Angaran homeworld, but there are places I've missed, areas only a Pathfinder could go. There could be relics sitting untouched for centuries because no one could reach them. What I ask is this, if you ever find yourself in an area like that, you keep an eye out for artifacts. That's it? That's it. Keep me in mind as you explore, and bring me anything of interest. It'd help if I knew where to look. Any planet could contain something of potential value. My people traveled far. I know that doesn't answer your question, but just keep your eyes open for me. You're the expert. Can't you just come with me? I'd like to, more than anything, but I'm needed here. My predecessor trusted me to stay and carry on his work, to find answers. No matter how much I miss the adventure, I have a responsibility here. A few hidden relics coming up. I don't know what I'd do without you. I'll be here if you find anything. Good luck. You know, as an Aya resident, it's your duty to show the new guy around. I see. 
Is that a human custom? Oh yeah, a very important one. Then I'm sure Piran will be happy to give you a tour. Any insight you can give me on the remnant tech? We don't know much. To our understanding, it's always been here. Start. I would love to be the one to solve that mystery. I'll come back when I have something. Stars guide your travels. I'll come back to Vavila once I've gotten something else. Let's see how PB is enjoying the museum. Let's see if, she, if she's learned anything new about the remnant artifacts that they've got within the museum. Believe me, I'm pissed off on their behalf. Yeah, pissed off is uh, an understatement. I want to give my version, but it is very long-winded and a very long uh, curse fest. So I won't waste any. I won't waste a, I won't waste any time with that. I'm just going to continue moving. Ryder, you are the subject of a detailed scan. Who the I fuck just scanned me? And Maybe why the hell did they want to scan me? Well, if you wanted to scan me, I would like a drink first, please. Thank you very much. Oh yeah. So that was Yangara who scanned me. Right next to a naval terminal. So that's two out of the four, I believe. Hello Let's go and see what she has to say I'm for herself. Welcome. All I'll say is that if you want to scan me, I would like a drink first. Thank you very much. Welcome, stranger. I wanted to be discreet. Noted. What's your interest in me? You're an alien on my home world. Why wouldn't I be interested? You could have asked. Fine. Will you submit to a full spectrum analysis of your biology? I can't fault you for being curious. Scan away. I didn't think you'd comply. I'm full of surprises. That you are. When we face extinction, family is our final comfort. Do you understand that? I've spent long enough around your people to understand what family means to you. You only see the surface. Family is everything. Not only the one we have now, but the ones that follow us. What will your family look like in five generations? Ten? How many of you will there be? You're worried there'll be more of us than you. I have 23 grandchildren. I want to know what their grandchildren will inherit. Goodbye, Pathfinder. Well, with what I've learned from Jal, is that uh, Angaran family sizes are quite large. Being that uh, he has double-digit number of brothers, double-digit number of sisters, double-digit cousins, aunts, mothers, fathers, etc. It's a lot. Understood. I'll make sure that people on the military section on the Nexus receives them and make sure they read them. I'm just glad that was not over 5,500 pages. Okay then, let's see what uh, is going on here with uh, Ephra and the Moshai. Did Jal know? Of course not. Neither did the human. I could have kept Sam to myself, you know. This is different, not your business. It is now. We need to find the Ket command ship. Tell him the truth about my capture. Moshai, please. It may be our only route to the Archon. One of my men helped the Ket take her, a resistance commander named Venterev. The Archon wanted her knowledge of Remnant Tech, but why would Ven betray her? I don't know. That's why I kept it quiet. I'm working to capture him, make him answer for what he did. You know where he is? Kadar report. My contacts are hunting him. Contacts? You can't trust anyone there. They deserted our cause, our people. And now they're ruled by exiles from your galaxy. Ven may know how to find the Archon and his ship. We can't leave this to a pack of renegades and outlaws. I'm a little new to the galaxy. Where did Ven go, exactly? Kadara Port is a trading outpost. We abandoned it when the Ket invaded. Some of us went back. Deserters, scavengers. They don't support Aya. 
How did exiles from the Nexus wind up there? Bad luck for everyone. If the Archon left Ven alive, it's unlikely he knows anything that can help us. The Ket aren't infallible. If you want the relic that leads to Meridian, Ven's your best hope. I'll transmit my files on Kadara Port to your ship. Our traitor could have useful information. We need him alive. That's up to him. Be safe, Pathfinder. As for you, Ephra, we're not done. Yeah, while the Moshe tells off Ephra, I think it's best if uh, I go explore the rest of Aya, the sections that I missed, and go and see where the hell Korra buggered off to. So the lower part of the Resistance Headquarters... No entering the meds entrance so you're clean. How do I decontaminate? Ion console. Touch the start pad, it does the rest. Good to know. Sam, is this thing safe? Yes. The slight ringing in your ears is nothing to worry about. Very reassuring. <laughs> huh, that must be one of the proce one of the things that the, the Ankara used to heal themselves. I'm just one of them, but the one who led the way, let's call it. Let's learn more about the ion beds. They're filled with a negatively charged iron gel. The gel works with our natural electricity to speed recovery. They're electrically charged? work on other species? Without bioelectricity, it would be of small benefit, but it might reduce pain. So you guys are electrically charged? Interesting. So we got biotic individuals from the Milky Way. Sorry, my ear was very, ear and nose are very itchy. So we got biotic individuals from the Milky Way galaxy with uh, the species that are electrically charged. I would be interested to study biotics. Interesting. Bioelectricity. takes a hit on my watch, my doctor needs to know how to treat him. Can you point me to resources she can use to learn your methods? So you're considering all possibilities. Jal is in good hands. I have medical journals on treating Angaran injuries and preventing complications. You're welcome to our really do hope Lexi can learn all of them. I'll get moving. Hoo yo So that is the medical center fully explored. See if there's anywhere else I can go to. Ah, there's Cora. Getting lots of stairs. Reminds me of being on Thessia for a sorry commando training. We're the aliens. Got any tips on navigating an alien society? Be yourself, but your best self. Listen and be polite about scanning your food. Though that's good advice in general. Mm, thank you. But uh, let's go to this weapons vendor and see what Arthur, they're selling. Ephra cleared you to purchase weapons. Really? My objections. Hey, selling an alien weapons would make me nervous too. I don't do this for Ephra. I respect the motion. I know the cat caused a lot of rifts with Angara, but seriously? <sighs> anyway, time to venture. Back through Aya, got to find me the last two info terminals, and I've also got to pick up the mission that, hopefully, that is uh, now hopefully now available in the observatory, and to pick up the last of the Angaran laws, let's call them. But I want to go visit Avila Kajar and see if she will mention anything else. Hello. I'm glad they finally let you into the city. You deserve it. This is Aya's cultural museum and history archive. It's small, but you've already made it brighter. You said the helmet was touched by the scourge. What does that mean? I forget your people went around for that. Yeah, it took when us 600 years to cross dark, dark, dark space. Broke down their technology. With the drive cores disabled, the ships crashed. But that may not be all. The scourge leaves a mark on whatever it touches. If it touched this helmet, 
Perhaps the pilot was the target. Wonder what kind of mark it actually leaves. It probably differs for or everything it does touch. Storms. I hadn't even thought of that. You work too hard. Take a break at the Tavatan with me. I can't just step away from these artifacts. There's so much to be done. One of these times you'll say yes. Perhaps. You should keep trying. <laughs> Anyway, that's enough uh, moseying about in the museum. Time to get back on the old dusty trail. And double check on both Liam and Drac. Make sure they haven't done anything stupid. Okay, good. They're still there behaving as well as they can. There's one of the last two info terminals. It's forwarded to the Nexus, unedited. That's just page one. And of course, if you want to read this out, read this in more detail, ladies and gentlemen, feel free to hit the pause button so you can actually catch what it actually says. Because. <coughs> Because now I've got to go to the last one. Nope, that stairway leads, leads back up into the political offices. Oh, yeah. Kadara is also the planet where the people who are exiled from the Nexus actually wound up going to be interesting when uh, going to that planet. And again, if you want to read... Unfortunately, I won't be stopping long on those uh, messages because uh, I want to make sure I can carry on throughout the level without wasting too much of your time, ladies and gentlemen. Well, have a moment, Pathfinder. <laughs> Tremendous honor. I must express my admiration for all you've done. Crossing the void between galaxies. Navigating the scourge to find Aya. It was just... Oh, excuse me. It was pure luck that I managed to get through the scourge and find Aya. All I wanted to do was get away from that fucking Archon. Extraordinary. I am Mariko Darej, Chief of... Vonoron? What exactly is that? That's very... I don't know what. Ah, linguistics, not my strength. I feel you on that one. Linguistics, <laughs> big weakness for me. Stars, planets, and the scourge. An astronomer. Oh, an Angaran an astronomer. Nice. Deploys satellites that alert us to new hazards and opportunities. But we've lost contact with several key observers. They've simply stopped. I sent a vessel to scan their last known locations, but nothing's been found. I'll be more than willing to check out those uh, locations to make sure that that uh, nothing major has happened to them. I'll look into it. I knew you'd understand. I'll provide Thank you very much, and I'll be on my way. And when I can finally reconcile our charts with fresh satellite data, I'll gladly share all we have. Excuse me. Time to venture back through the main gate. And it is now time to depart Aya. And venture off back into the Helios Cluster. And to also inform Nexus leadership of the success that uh, we've had with the Angara Society. Director Tan, good news. The Angara opened an embassy for us on Aya. That is... A surprise? What are their expectations? I convinced them we're friends. Try not to mess it up. I do not mess it up. I will gather envoys and send them to Aya. Thank you, Pathfinder. We'll take it from here. I really fucking hope they don't f fuck up this uh, partnership that I have established, so... 
on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be ending this episode here. I do hope you'll enjoy it. So when I pick this up next time, I'm going to be heading back to EOS to finish cleaning up the planet and drive off the cat. So until the next video, everybody, I've been Shadowstar, Omarxman72 for my PlayStation ID. Stay safe out there, take care, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.